Hey guys, so just happened to install the latest Gcam version on my phone and let's do a quick blind test. One is taken from my stock camera, the other one is the Gcam version. Just try and guess which one is which and I'm sure by now you have an idea. It's really embarrassing because it's more obvious than I expected. So these are all taken under bright sunny light just to test the dynamic range and how it handles the exposure, the white balance and the colors. So clearly, as you might have guessed, the first one is the stock camera, the second one is the G-cam and clearly it is much better. Now this difference is enough to try out the G-cam, otherwise I would not have even made this video. But anyway, let's get to how to install this and set this up. So definitely hit the like button guys also subscribe to the channel for more such content let's begin so firstly you need to download the app i'll drop a link to that you can check it out make sure you enable unknown sources so that it gets installed and once that is done just open the app here you need to do a quick setup before start taking pictures for better results so head over to the settings more settings and on top of this, go into the first option, the configs and here I personally chose the Pixel 6 interface and the model but uh, more importantly you need to make sure that this particular section is set up right. Now you need to change these values based on your model and what kind of support you have for the camera to API. So here at the bottom all the settings have been listed but I'll leave a screenshot here and you need to change these values as per your model. Now you need to find out what kind of camera to API level uh, or support your device has. So install this app and as you can see mine has the level 3 support. So these settings will apply and I'll go into this section and I'll change these values as per those settings prescribed. So now you're pretty much set up and start exploring the Gcam but it is not perfect. There are a few things that are broken. For example, the telephoto camera doesn't seem to work properly on some modes and also there is some issue with some video recording modes like the slow motion it crashes and uh, apart from this the portrait mode or other stuff that i have tried so far has been working mostly and most of the stuff is functional so it's up to you to actually explore more and uh, also i find the skin tones to be better on the gcam so definitely do try it out also definitely like this video guys subscribe to the channel thanks for watching i'll see you soon